months. Yeah, yeah. How you doing, everybody? Okay, it's nice to be here, blah, blah, yeah. And before you jump to conclusions, I'm a Canadian, so you can wipe that look off your face right now. That's right, Canada, the land of no specific enemy. <laughs> Nothing to worry about, folks. We live next door to the great Satan. We're like 668, the neighbor of the beast. <laughs> we live next door to America in the snow amongst the French. <sighs> so if I say it's nice to be here, fuck off, it is. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. I'm your bastard cousin. Come back for a beer. My goodness me, we had a lot of comics up here tonight talking about the differences between men and women. I've always thought that was a bunch of shit. I don't think there is a great deal of difference between men and women. The only difference I've ever noticed, 16 years being with my girlfriend, Dash wife, the only difference I've noticed <laughs> is when women drink and get drunk, they come home. <laughs> women aren't afraid of being home when they're drunk. Women love their home when they're drunk. You ever see a drunk woman in her living room just basking in all their bullshit? They just, <laughs> look at all the stupid stuff I have. All the figurines, all those ridiculous little spoons. They were all my idea. <laughs> men don't come home. Drunk men, we're afraid to come home. We stand outside of our home. Three o'clock in the morning, we stand outside of our house practicing the word hello to get in. <laughs> Three in the morning, just, okay. I better put the beer down, okay. I'll put that in a bush, okay. Now, now remember what bush, in case she doesn't let me in. Hello. Oh. That's how drunk men give themselves shit. Hello, no. Howdy, oh Christ, don't say howdy, only drunk people say howdy. I might as well knock on the door and go yeehaw. Wake up, retard, smart enough. Hello. Now, this is my problem. I live in England now, and now when I get drunk, I acquire this British accent out of nowhere. Because it sounds more theatrical than drunk. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, my love, I'm home. Hello. <laughs> now I'm Richard Burton coming home. <laughs> Martha, come running at me, your melons bobbling, your kimono flying. <laughs> Hello. Then I do her voice. Have you been drinking? That's how men impersonate women. <laughs> Which is fair, because when women impersonate men, then he says, <laughs> so, <laughs> relax, you're not from Venus. Have you been drinking? No. Ha 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 ha. Your beauty alone intoxicates me. <laughs> and then I sleep in my car, that's my whole day. I think the drunkest you get is at a wedding. And I don't know if it's because you're so drunk or it's just you started off the night looking so good. <laughs> Men and women, we polish up before we go to a wedding, eh? Men are wearing suits we'd never normally wear. We've got way too many pockets, <laughs> eh? Women are looking beautiful and, you know, five hours later, different story. <laughs> women, when they get drunk, for some reason, they always end up holding onto their shoes. <laughs> They just walk around rooms with their shoes like a, like they've won them. <laughs> These are my shoes. <laughs> I didn't notice them up there. You know? <laughs> Have you seen my hat? It's a new hat. <laughs> I got so drunk at a wedding, at one point I looked down, I realized my shirt was hanging out of my fly. <laughs> I had a dance award. I wasn't aware I was in a contest. <laughs> I was just trying to make it to the shitter and somebody formed a conga line behind me. <laughs> you cannot shake a drunk conga line. When they think you're the engine, you're fucked for the evening. They just get a hold of you. No, no, I don't want to, I'm not. All righty, okay. All righty. All righty, okay. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna walk you bastards off a bridge. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Feed the poor, world peace. Let's go to Mars tonight. <laughs>